everybody. It's Mary Ann at Mary Ann's Michigan Kitchen. And I got to cook some food today. And I'm just not sure what's going on. However, I do know I have eggs to get hard boiled. And, um, oh, I could have used a little bit of pan. So I'm going to get those started first. It's going to be a hot week this week for September. Um, I got chicken that I got to use up. So, this is what's on the game plan. We'll have, we actually splurged yesterday and was out and about and went to a pizza place. I had pizza, so we got leftover pizza we'll probably eat today. But, I have chicken. Let's see, are we all down here? So, I've got chicken, chicken breast. Mushrooms, chicken bouillon, I have a leek I want to use, and I have some peppers that need to be used up. So, here's my thought process. I'm going to use this, these are two chicken breasts. They're still slightly frozen. These are boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So I have two of those, and um, I'm going to cook them. I think I'm going to cook, I'm going to cut the leek up first, and then I'm going to cook it in some beef tallow. Now, sometimes when you get leeks, get this stuff out of the way, you have, they have dirt in them. I'm not going to use this green part. I just really want the white. And if you open that up, you can cut it. You can kind of see whether you're going to have any dirt. So I'm going to cut the end off. And I want circles. So I don't want to cut this all the way up. So I'm just running water in it. Just to see. I'm going to get me a dish out. I have a bowl right here. is I'm cooking chicken for the rest of the week. I went shopping with my sister the other day and I gotta say um, she kind of opened my eyes a little bit to the way people really, she was, and specifically, it was this, these chicken pieces at Costco. And the whole premise is, you're taught to buy convenience items because your life is so busy you can't cook. Well, my mom life was busy and she couldn't cook and that's why I was there and did all the cooking from age 10 on up. So don't discount your children. If you got one that doesn't want to play sports then they get to be the cook. Every night maybe you should have each child do a different cooking operation. It's not hard. You can give one of them the opportunity to break these little circle pieces apart in the leak. But It's amazing when you step back and you think about 
convenience items are making you stupid and lazy. And that's not a good thing. It takes thought on how to get your food from the tip from this this bag or this, you know. Do I buy everything I need every week? Nope. I had no idea what I was gonna cook with these guys today. No idea. However, when you buy the food and it's raw ingredients that you like. I like leeks, I like chicken, I like mushrooms. Mike does not like mushrooms, so he doesn't get any. Chicken, bouillon, peppers. It makes it really easy. Do I want these right now or do I want to do my chicken? I think I'm going to put these off to the side. Because I'm going to do my leeks and then I'm going to do my chicken. So, leeks, cook down, add in some chicken bouillon, and then I'm going to slice my chicken up. So, from here, we're going to go over here. I finally figured out my camera angle. Maybe. Who knows for sure. I got my, hard boil my eggs ready for hard boiling. Do I want this pan? No. I want this pan. Here's my beef towel. Get that heated up. going to do an onion along with the leek so we'll see how everything turns out. I broke down about a five pound bag of onions. So I kept coming running out of onion. And these onions are smaller which means I can chop up the whole onion if I felt like it. So while that's warming up, I want to show you the table. People always want to showcase their fruits. Well, guess what? Here I have a bowl of onions. I have an avocado in here. I think he might get used. Some garlic. Over here I have white potatoes and I have sweet potatoes. And they always say cover up your potatoes. So I just took a towel and put it over them so they're kind of in the dark yet. But I might take one of these onions and chop it up too. Put them over here. So we got this going. So we're going to turn around. I'm trying to do a better job of showing you what I'm doing. Now this is going to splatter. I'm going to turn my flame down. This is, I'm cooking for, I think Sunday, I still got leftover. So I'm cooking probably, them two chicken breasts for two of us, I'm probably cooking for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I might not have to cook another meat product until Thursday. And if I didn't want this chicken this week, I could always freeze it. That's another thing people forget, that 
You can process your food. And you can put it in the freezer. In freezer containers. And you can mark it on, you know, put a little piece of paper or tape. Masking tape would work. And write on the top of the lid um, what it is. Maybe what it's for. You don't need to spend 20 bucks on a processed piece of chicken that is divided up into these little containers when you could spend, how much did I spend on this chicken? $7.43. So let's say I, with everything in here, I'm going to spend $10. And I could divide this up for four to six meals, depending on what I'm using it for. Stick it in the freezer. You're going to cook something. Sometime during the week, double up the meat that you're cooking, and then you're able to save the rest. That's what people don't realize. It's no different. Here we go. Now, I can't eat these anymore because the seeds mess with my stomach. But this bagel, sesame, everything, so good. I don't know, it was like 7 or $8. And if I was to buy all those, for seven to eight dollars, you know, buy them in quantities, I could make that forever. It's about saving money, saving time. Because if it's already done up, I don't have to do any cooking this week. I just have to prep. I just have to put things together. And we're eating. That's what I'm getting at. And I know some of you probably got kids. And you think you can't do it. Well, you're lying to yourself. And society is lying to you. There's about one teaspoon of chicken bouillon. And if you're a vegetarian, then you don't have to do anything with this meat stuff. All right, that's looking good. Oh, that's wilted just perfect. Now, we got the heat down. Now we're gonna go over here and cut the chicken. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. First, I'm gonna cut the onion. Here's my favorite way of cutting this onion. Leave the bottom on him where the root end and it won't be as hard on your eyes. That's looking very good. Now I'm going to have this. Now, if you don't want to cut your chicken up, that's no big deal. Just cook it whole and then you can chop it up as you use it. Or you can chop it up now.
I got this out of the freezer two days ago. And it's still frozen. So we can put this on salads. this with rice, pasta, if we get to where we don't want to do anything, we can eat the chicken with a dip and some chips. I got guacamole now. Yeah. There's all kinds of things you can do with chicken. You can turn it into a sandwich. Barbecue, you can teriyaki it. Shallots are mild. You can make a really nice gravy out of this. You can make all this into a soup, stew, over noodles with noodles, over mashed potatoes, teriyaki. Keep the flavor simple and then when you use it, then you can add more flavor to it. I haven't added any salt to this yet. I just added that chicken bouillon. Oh, I think this has probably been five minutes. So, five minutes at a boil, 15 minutes. There we go. And uh, this chicken will be cooking, and we'll be back when we got something else to talk about. Okay, so I've been cooking this for a while. Maybe I need to bring you guys over a little bit. There it is. A dove and three little birds out there. Bird feeder and bird bath. Yep. So with this, as you can see the onions and the leeks, they just cook down to nothing. They're just there as your flavor agent. Like I said, I haven't put any salt on this. The only seasoning was the um, chicken bouillon, better than chicken bouillon. So this is cooking good. I'm going to leave the lid off now. And later on, we're going to have our pizza. But I'm going to cook me up some mushrooms to put on my pizza. I bought the mushrooms. I must use them. I'm so happy Mike does not like mushrooms. Otherwise, I'd be a problem for the mushrooms. Oh, did you sneeze me? I didn't eat mushrooms? Sure. Kind of scared you a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Well, tell your system. Too bad. You don't get them. Not today. Hmm. Now, these guys, I'm going to season up the right way. This is my homemade season salt, which I haven't bought, like a brand name season salt, in over. Gosh, how long has it been? 66? I was working at that bank back in 84. It's been like over 40 years since I have bought any type of prepackaged seasoning salt. I've been making my own for that long. Considering I was slowly killing myself by using the name brand Season Salt. And then the name brand Monosodium Glutamate. Oh, I dropped a mushroom. Oh, where did he go? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's it. No, don't touch it. You don't get some mushrooms. You know, we don't want you getting sick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just kidding, folks. You won't get sick. Oh, they should get sick. Okay. Yeah, right I'm just going to use the same lid for over here. I'm going to turn this flame down just a bit more. And this is cooking nicely. All this water is coming out of the chicken, coming out of the leeks, coming out of the onion. So nice. Now, if I was just cooking this for us today, I think I would be prone to putting some lemon juice in it. But I'm, I'm going to not do that. I don't know what we'll cook with it later on. So 
So the dove is still in the word better bath? Yeah. Love it, huh? Yeah. Here, I'll take a little sample of this. Just a little piece of chicken. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't need any seasoning right now. That is plain chicken, just an onion flavor. That's good. Put that over there for a while. Create some moisture over here. Um. Yeah. Yeah, but instead of me putting eggs, I'm gonna put the eggs in here. And then I can run cold water on them. Instead of using ice. Since our ice is still at a, you know, just can't use it all up. It's gonna be such a hot week. All right, now this is looking good. Three minutes until I take the hard eggs, hard boiled eggs out so we can have salad. Chicken on our salad, hard boiled eggs, bell peppers all chopped up. We got tomatoes over there we can put on our salad. So it's I think we'll have salad. And then on uh, Tuesday I have to go to, we won't have to worry about having the crazy thing to eat that day. Maybe we'll have another salad. Okay. That's great. I'm going to turn this up because I want to get some of that moisture evaporated out of this chicken. And I'm going to turn this mushroom up. So I have all my peppers chopped up for this week. I should chop up the carrot and the celery, so that's all chopped up. The mushrooms are done for the pizza, a reheating pizza that we bought. We actually splurred, first time out eating someone else's food in over a month. And I feel pretty good, I don't think I got sick, I don't think I caused myself to have a gallstone attack. But eating this way will make sure that I don't have any issues this week. Oh, and another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some, a lemon vinaigrette to put on our salad. I think they call it like a Greek vinaigrette, Greek salad dressing, but it's so simple. It's lemon juice, they call it red wine vinegar. I don't have red wine vinegar. I might have it back there. What's the rice vinegar? Here's this one. White wine vinegar. This is a really good vinegar. That's probably what we use. So lemon, that vinegar, some olive oil, a little bit of oregano, garlic, and we're good to go. That'll be our wonderful meal. Well, there we go. Two, one. Yeah. Um. Well, this is really hot water. I hate to have you get burned. It's best to have me get burned. Really? Yeah. No? no? You know what? Yeah. Here, you can lift these out. Okay. Just like that. Oh, trust me. Yeah, just take it out one spoon at a time. But you can hold this with your other mitten. Mitten hand. Yeah. And then we're going to run cold water over. So, I'm going to put these three in there. Yep. Okay. Over there. Cool up. Oh, the lid's just about out of here. This is great. Coming for water on Yeah. Point for it out. Point for it out. Point for it out. Just sit that back over to the back burner, please. Yeah, I'm back. Right off the back. Right off the back. chicken breast and really that's gonna we're gonna eat that in probably three or four sittings because some of the chicken I didn't cut up I left big but that's gonna get cut up when it cools down so I'm excited anyways it's really easy to find something in the store that you like to buy that we'll say cost $14 and it's individually packaged chicken that you can buy two chicken breasts which is $7.48 and you can add some leeks and an onion so like I said put it up to $10 so for $10 you can divide this up into your own little portions like their portions if this was chopped up would be no bigger than oops their portions of chopped up would be no bigger than these two pieces of meat, three pieces. And you really don't need a whole lot of meat when you have more substance to put in your food. So always think about that. It's a way to save money. It's a way to get cooking. Children can help. And it's a way to um, show the big grocery stores what you want to buy versus buying what they want you to buy. Convenience is killing you. That is my title, really. Convenience is killing us. So don't get me started on banking. That, letting somebody else control your money, that's just wrong. Peace out.
second day eating on the chicken I had cooked up with leeks and onion. And today it's a salad with a Greek mustard dressing. Mm. Ready to chow down. Cooking made easy. Third dish. We're using up this chicken that I cooked on Sunday, and today's Wednesday. And this is going to have, when it's done cooking, it's going to have some little elbow macaroni in it. And then we're going to put a Greek dressing that we tried on our salad yesterday. We're going to put it in here. And this will be our lunch today. I'm telling you, this is easy living. Just when you think you're recording, you realize that you didn't record. So I put my noodles in here. That's my dressing. I put it in here, which is olive oil, white wine vinegar, Dijon mustard, some salt, some garlic powder, oregano, and basil. And then I topped it with my Parmesan Reggiano. It's delicious. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a bit and let it cool down.